recently get a haircut, maybe drop 50 to 100 bucks to your barber to get a nice fade, trim, and cut. This video, I'm gonna show you how to extend your cut, how to fade, trim, and actually line up your beard, your hair, and your neckline. That way you can extend, save, and also learn some new skills in trimming and cutting your own hair and beard. Hey everyone, my name is Scott with Volt Life Proof Grooming, and just like the intro, I'm gonna show you some quick, easy tips how to get into cutting and fading your hair to extend your haircut. Now, three things that we're gonna need are gonna be some clippers with preferably a guard. We're gonna need a razor straight or a multi-blade, whatever works for you. Something that can create a line will be the best. And we're gonna need uh, some shaving gel or cream and some aftershave. And both of these guys are from Volt. So anything that you guys see here, definitely go down in the description, check out what we got. So let's get right into it. Now the places that we're gonna focus on are going to be the sideburns, our neckline, and our beard itself, because that's gonna clean a lot of the things up. So we're gonna start with our clippers, and I'm gonna go with some advice here. And you're gonna remember or try to remember where your barber or yourself, if you're comfortable knowing what length your guard needs to be. So for me, on this Norelco, it's going to be a three, because when my when I trim up my hair, that's usually where I go all the way around. So that, that guard, I'm actually going to increase it one length for this fade, and the area where we're gonna start, like I said, is going to be the sideburn area, and then we're gonna work back into the neck. So let's go ahead and turn our clippers on, and we're gonna start right here where the earlobe meets the burn, and we're just gonna go right up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that number, we use that number four, right? We went a little longer. Now we're gonna go back down to a three, and we're going to trim up our beard into that fade. Now, depending on where you guys want to go with this, how short you want your beard, but for this video, we're going to stop right here around the cheek, leaving the goatee, the mustache, the chin nice and strong. And so we're just going to do the same on the other side. Now, trimming up this area is going to give the appearance as we look at each other that this is nice and clean and well kept. So at the front, we really have more of a pronounced uh, shape and growth in our beard, mustache, and our chin area. Now, one thing that I do notice since I've trimmed this up is that our neck is a little rough and we're gonna clean that up. But before we get there, we're gonna finish up with the clippers or at least on our front side, we're gonna take our guard off and then we're gonna line our ear line. And this is gonna be one of the biggest parts of these cuts and trims and fades. And this is where we can extend that week or two of our haircut and our beard trim from our barber. And this is an easy way. I just like to rest my trimmer on my ear. And it's the same that we use like on the lip. I'll just rest my uh, clippers on my lip. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna rest it right here on my ear. And we're just gonna go ahead and line that up. Now, another tip, if you guys can take your finger and bring out some of that hair, because some of that hair sometimes gets locked in, kind of like Velcro, and it goes back on the other side. So go ahead and just brush that out and do one more trim. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Now this is gonna take a little bit of skill, but like I always say, go slow, smooth, and small. You don't wanna go too hard, too fast. So just start where you're comfortable and give it a line. And then if it's not enough, just go up a little bit more. Now the last thing that we're gonna do with the clippers, we're gonna put the guard back on and we're gonna do the same process with the neck area. So I'm gonna go a comfortable, like I said, with the jaw, we were at a three, so I'm gonna bust it up to a four. And if you need a little bit of help, I totally understand, but since I've done this so many times, uh, it practice makes perfect. Uh, well, I'm gonna turn around and it's gonna be the sides right here on each uh, side of the neck that we're going to trim. So turn our clipper on. Use your finger as a guide and then you're gonna trim up into the side. So follow along.
Now to give an explanation in our back of our necks, that hair is just gonna grow over. It kind of gives that mullet effect, but giving this a bit of a trim is, again, it's like the ear line, it cleans it right up. Now we're gonna move into just finalizing everything and we're gonna pull out our razor. Now on this one for myself, I don't really need to shave up my neck. Everything is looking good, but definitely in the back for extending that haircut, we're gonna go ahead and trim that neck up because as again, when we're looking around and we're looking straight on, as we've trimmed up our jaw right here, now we can actually see a lot of the light if it's coming from the back or different directions. This is going to expose a little bit of our neck area on our sides and our back. And this is where we're gonna clean everything up and it's gonna just finalize everything. And once again, give us that extended, uh, you know, beard and haircut. Of course, before we shave, we're gonna go ahead and use some clear shaving gel and uh, go ahead and apply that just wherever you need to. And we're gonna use that as a base for our shave. So take your razor and you're going to find where your earlobe goes down to your neck so you're gonna use that line from your jaw. It's gonna be a line, a guideline, and go ahead and just shave that neck area. And if you need to, have someone help or use your finger as a guide. Again, use your jawline, use your finger as a guard or a line. Now that everything is shaved up, clipped up, faded up, lined up, right? That was actually a really easy way for you guys to extend your trim. And, and so, as the light is shining through or back, wherever in between, when we're out, you're not gonna see those white hairs, those fuzz hairs that come off, off your neck, the back of your neck, or even your jaw. Everything's nice and cleaned up. We've got nice lines. To finish everything off, we're gonna use some aftershave, and I like this. Not only does it give us some protection with our shave, but it also gives us a nice smell. Now, the nice thing with aftershave, it gives us a layer of protection uh, for our skin, uh, you know, irritation and future prevention of ingrown hairs. And that's pretty much it. This is a great way for you guys to learn how to cut and trim your own hair, extending that haircut, but also giving you guys some skill just in case we're in a bit of a pinch, we're out on vacation, something's up, can't get an appointment uh, for you guys to extend that life of your cut trim because once again, it is expensive. These haircuts nowadays, 50, 100 bucks plus tip, especially if we're doing it once or twice a month, it can actually add up pretty quick. All right, you guys, of course, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.